So my name is Rebecca Lagranger, and I'm currently a junior. So I initially got involved in Humbio in kind of a um, roundabout way, <laughs> but I decided I originally I decided I wanted to minor in human biology and major in political science. So in order for a Humbio minor, you have to take the core. I think I was really impressed with Larry Goulder. I think he has a way of engaging a large class really well. Um, he just brought a whole new way of thinking about these things than I had ever uh, imagined before. The whole idea of quantitatively assessing the value of nature, while it might go against a lot of people's instinct, it could be really important in the future as we're facing increasing population, you know, climate change, urban sprawl, these are concepts that could be really important and really crucial to helping to preserve nature, parts of nature that would otherwise be destroyed. And there was a series of lectures given by Professor Carol Boggs and at the end of one of her lectures she put up a picture of the most beautiful place I've ever seen and said, Every summer, I take two undergraduates to the Rocky Mountain Biological Laboratory. So if you're interested, go ahead and apply. So I saw those slides and I was like, I want to do that. <laughs> I want to be there. So I applied and was really fortunate enough to get the, the internship, the field assistant position. So that's where I was last summer. And while there, I just decided I really wanted uh, um, a more solid foundation in science, so I decided to flip-flop and major in Humbio and minor in political science. While there, we got to develop our own independent research projects along with the work we were doing just as Carol's field assistants, gathering data for her. So that means we were in the field kind of on our own. Um, she helped us plan what we were going to do, but it was really our time to apply what we'd learned. And I can just remember being out there <laughs> trying to catch butterflies. She studies butterflies. So I have a six foot long pole with a net on it and I'm wandering around the mountains of Colorado <laughs> desperately trying to catch the right type of butterfly that I need. Um, and there was one time where it was kind of towards the end of the summer and it was I needed this certain type and I was getting frustrated. I sat down on a rock and I just looked around and I realized what I was doing and it just didn't seem to matter anymore. I just, it was just kind of an um, out of body experience. And then I got up and amazingly I, I caught that butterfly I needed right away once I had just taken a step back and realized what I was doing and where I was. So I was also fortunate enough to go to um, the, to Stanford and Washington in DC winter quarter which is their um, health and environment focus quarter and that was truly amazing I got to do a full-time internship with the US Department of Agriculture in their natural resources conservation service and I could really apply a lot of what I had learned in the core, the ecology I learned in the core, the biology I learned in the core to my internship there were um, a lot of the bureaucrats I was working with had their PhDs in watershed management or they were geologists or ecologists and it was a really interesting way to see the connection between science and policy and that was that was truly amazing. One of the hardest things I encountered being in Washington um, working with a bunch of scientists but within a bureaucracy is that they're not necessarily trained to communicate what they've learned and although they're extremely intelligent people I think scientists you know whether you're talking about conservationists or you know climate change scientists or um, they have this immense amount of knowledge but they're easily attacked because it's it's hard for them to communicate everything that they've found right? and that's what I'm hoping just with a little bit of the science background I've gained as an undergraduate is to at least be able to ask the right questions and it's one of the reasons why I wanted to focus on taking some more science classes and being involved in you know Carol Boggs's lab group as an undergrad because they say you can go from science to policy but you can't go the other way and I think that's kind of true so 
Um, yeah, right now law school, hopefully some sort of environmental law uh, as it pertains to resource allocation, specifically water. Those are the things I'm really interested in. So hopefully I can go out there and make a difference. <laughs>